Well, this weekend is the 145th annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, and you can see a Bloomington man judge it. Joining me now from Bloomington, Jamie Hubbard. Jamie, good morning to you. Good morning. You've been showing dogs since you were a kid. How did you get started? Like, what, what was your interest? Well, my parents were on the search for a purebred dog when I was a child, so they purchased a basset hound, and I started showing their basset hounds when I was nine years old, and I was hooked. <laughs> we're looking at a picture of you right now when you were younger. You've judged, you've judged dog shows in more than 20 different countries. How did you switch from showing to judging i mean that's 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 a big one it is i mean i think for some people there's a natural progression from going to a dog show and taking your own dog and then wanting to become a dog judge and i just felt um i just had a passion for it and the minute i started judging i loved it and and here i am now you know almost 30 35 years later um still judging and judging everywhere around the world is fun. What is so special about judging this particular show? Well, the Westminster Kennel Club is like the Super Bowl of, of the dog world. It's gotcha. the most, it's the most prestigious dog show in the world. So it's an absolute honor to be asked to judge there. Um, I'm, you know, very humbled for the invitation. And you're judging one of the group's finales. Tell us about that. Okay. So I get to judge the hound group. Okay. Um, which is one of seven uh, groups. Um, each winner will go through to the best in show ring. Um, the unique thing about the hound group is that they're um, split into t kind of two different types. There's the sight hounds, like an Afghan hound, and then you have your scent hounds, like a basset hound. So there's a lot of variety within the group that I have to uh, judge. That is incredible. So if there's someone out there watching and they have an interest in this, what does it take to get to this level and the opportunity to be able to judge on this stage? Um, a lot of homework. <laughs> um, becoming a judge is not just as simple as, you know, reading a book and applying that to when you're in the ring. Um, there are a lot of events and a lot of seminars you have to attend. You have to be approved by the American Kennel Club to be able to judge at this level. Right. So there's quite, quite a lot of steps to get to this point. Makes sense. And my final question for you, in your opinion, what does it take for a dog to win best in show? First of all, they have to meet their breed standard and, and look like they were bred to what they were meant to be, you know, meant to do. Yes. But I think on the night, they have to have something just that extra special, you know, a little bit of shine. Some attitude. Um, yeah, put on a performance for sure. That makes sense. Jamie Hubbard. Thank you so much for your time. I'm sure folks will look forward to watching the uh, Westminster Kennel Club show this weekend, and they'll Great. see you as well. We appreciate okay, it. Thank you. Thank no you so problem. much. No problem. And for more information on the Westminster Kennel Club dog show this Sunday, just on Fox 59, starting mm -hmm. at 7:30. Jim, uh, uh, you have Who dog. Knew? You have a dog, right? I do, actually, too. Yes. And your dog but is they, always. <laughs> your dog is always. Neither one show. of them would. <laughs> ever make it to that show so we'd be part of the uh the blooper reel no doubt